Hi, hello. What are we doing today? Well, today I thought that it could be fun to film a studio vlog, kind of. I had something planned today, but it got canceled. So I have a surprise free day and I figured maybe I could do some fun stuff, work on some videos and I could try to bring you along with me. I don't know how interesting it's going to be. It's just one day. But, oh well, you tell me. <laughs> First of all, I have to work on some pictures that I took recently. I just have to select the pictures I want to present to the client before they make their final selection. So the client doesn't have to look at, let's say, 800 pictures. They just have a, uh, maybe 100 in their selection and they can select their favorites from that. So I'm going to take an hour today, no more than that, to select the pictures. Uh, and if I'm not done after an hour, which I hope I will, but if I'm not done, I'm just gonna stop for today because today is it's kind of the weekend, even if it's a Tuesday. So it's been a long time since I've had a whole day without any work. And I guess today I'm gonna work it for an hour, but that doesn't really count. After that, I wanna finish my video that I'm going to post on Friday. By the time you see this one, you will already have seen my other video. I have a voiceover to film and I have an intro also to film. That's why I put some nice makeup on today. I wanted to be cute for my intro. <laughs> and what else? Um, after that, I want to paint record that as well. And I need to give a bath to my cat. With Sphinx, it's a thing that happens with Sphinx cats. They get like an oil buildup on their skin. That's why they have sometimes um, some kind of dirt or buildup in their ears too, because they don't have the fur to push it out. So when you have a Sphinx cat, you need to give it a bath from time to time. So today will be the day for that. So far this morning, I cleaned up the studio because it was getting a little bit messy. And now it's a lot cleaner. I like it. It puts me in the mood for creating. And uh, yeah, and I, I've also gotten dressed using me in my pajamas this morning. I was very comfortable. Let's go. I hope that you like this video today. Please tell me if you want to see more of these at the end or if you couldn't care less. Okay, let's go. to a new portrait. Last video I talked about the first and only time I tried my Imi Mia gouache. Imi, Imi, hello and welcome to a new portrait. This is too much. So I just finished part one of recording my voiceover. Now what I need to do is fairly quick. I need to adjust the sound to make the sound sound nice. When you listen to my videos, I always reduce the noise, reduce reverb and do some other adjustments here and there to make everything sound good. And what I've been doing for the last couple of videos is record my voiceover directly in Adobe Audition. I haven't heard anybody use this program before, but I have the full Adobe suit and I realized that I had this program that is made for recording and it's really nice because you can see your video and record your voiceover while seeing your video. So you can really see what you're talking about in real time while recording. You can cut the voiceover clips, rearrange them. And in the end, I just have to export the audio part, import it back into Premiere Pro, which is what I use to um, edit my video and then finish my edit there. If you have a YouTube channel and you sometimes record voiceovers, I'd like to know about your workflow because it has been a work in progress for me. It's, it's always changing. I'm always trying to figure out the best way to do it. And I think for now, Audition is really good because yes, it takes me 
more time to record the voiceover, but I can edit it in real time as well. So it's kind of putting two steps in one. Before I used Audition, I used to film my voiceovers like this and just take the audio part um, and just scrap the video because I didn't need it. But now I just record the audio directly into my computer using my mic. So I can see my voiceover clips right here that I cut and that I rearranged. On the bottom here, I can see my video. So I, I imported it in this session. It's the video reference here. I can see it here. So when I record, I can see the video in real time. So it's super helpful. Then I can go on here and make some adjustments to the sound directly. So I'm going to start doing that right now. And then my video is going to be almost done. I'll just need to record my intro. So right now in my video editing, I'm I'm at the second to last step, which is choosing my music putting it into my video. And then the last step is going to create the thumbnail and the IG story uh, that I post the day before. And after that, I will export the video um, during the evening when I don't need to use my computer because it takes a lot of power and I can't use my computer while my video is exporting. Sometimes it can take up to an hour to export. so. I prefer to do it at night or during the evening. I like it, but I think it's too dark. I would listen to it myself, but for a video, I want it to be I want my music to make you want to dance, but I want it to be a happy dance, not like a sad and introspective dance, you know? So this isn't the right mood. So now you just saw me take some pictures for my thumbnail. My goal is to put um, a picture of me with the painting on one side and a picture of the gouache set on the other side of the thumbnail so you can easily see that I did the painting with the gouache set. And now what I'm going to do, I took them with my phone. I have a good camera, you know, I'm a photographer, but that seems like too much work to go get my camera, make my settings, then transfer the picture to the computer. No, no, no. We're just going to do it with my phone and then I'm going to send the pictures to myself on Slack and then I'll retrieve them from my computer, put them in Lightroom, edit them, and then build my thumbnail in Photoshop. So I just finished my thumbnail. Usually I start it in Photoshop on my computer and then I send it on Fresco on the iPad. Here you can see I have a bunch of thumbnails and I open them on the iPad. I add some details, some brush strokes, some little drawings, and then I send them back into Photoshop on my computer and I'm just going to export them and then we'll be done. I'll just need to export the video this evening. It's now three o'clock. I'm done with my video editing. And it may seem like video editing is very time consuming and you're right, it is. So now I think I'm going to work on my 100 head challenge. I'm going to paint three faces on one page using watercolor. So that's going to be a video you might see soon.
I don't know why, but today drawing this sketch was really hard. I kept having to erase and start over. I had trouble with my proportions. It's mostly because of me, but I think maybe it's partly because of this pencil that I chose. I think it's, it's not dry enough. I think with the dryer pencil, the lines aren't as dark as with this one. So it allows me to play around more before having to commit to a final sketch. But this time, I don't know why I chose this one. I couldn't find my other pencil. I had less, less room for error, I think. There's something wrong with the last one that I drew. I'm not sure what it is yet. I think maybe I need to look at it with a different angle just to see if how I can fix my proportions. All right, it's 5.30 right now. So I think I'm gonna go on a little walk, take a break because I'm kind of tired of uh, sitting down. Here's what I managed to do so far. now the next day it's about 2 p.m and i just wanted to close this one day vlog i didn't have the energy to close it last night and also it was dark it's not as fun to film when it's dark outside so this is the end i hope you enjoyed this vlog if you did leave a like below leave me a comment saying what you would like to see and subscribe if you're not already subscribed thank you for watching and see you next time